thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker, and as the member from Dauphin, Swan River, Nipawa, and his colleagues know very, very well the costs and benefits to families will be determined by the provincial program uh, to apply the price on pollution and to determine how that gets reinvested into their communities. So they know very well that there isn't such a thing as a simple cost for families because it depends. It could be a benefit for families. And I hope that in his community, that his province will structure it so that the rural and remote communities benefit, just as was done in British Columbia. So we know that this is a false question and a false choice. We know that the answer is in the hands of the provinces in terms of how they apply this. So then one must ask, what is what are they really trying to do? Is this another step along the way of trying to undermine any action to actually have real measurable results on climate? The member asked for numbers. I'll give him some numbers. 3,000 new Amazon jobs in Vancouver right now. Over 100,000 clean tech jobs in British Columbia because of putting a price on carbon. $333 billion in global clean energy investment. And my question is, why would the members want to undermine and frustrate the ability of Canadians to partake in the growing clean tech sector by always block, trying to block anything that would con constitute action to reduce greenhouse gas emissions?